coming up on Lloyd and Mandy. Making Bali. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bagus. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. But like, Sidamon is so peaceful and like still has that peaceful Bali feeling to it. I think it's my favorite spot in Bali now. I think it's the most beautiful and authentic how Bali used to be or how it used to be advertised. I need a new purpose. I'm looking for so much more. Don't leave me here searching. You're just what I'm longing for. When times are getting crazy and everything seems hazy. Some place for safety I could go Run away, run away today's video, we need to give a quick shout out to Monly for sponsoring today's video and keeping this free content possible. So in case you've never heard of them, Monly has consistently been one of the top five language learning apps since they launched all the way back in 2014. Their app has over 110 million users worldwide and gives users access to 41 foreign languages from 33 native languages around the globe. It's super simple to use. You simply download the app, select your desired language, choose a lesson and start learning. Monly focuses on practical lessons that you can actually use in your everyday life. With the help of the chatbot and with speech recognition, Monly provides real-time feedback and helps you improve your pronunciation quickly without the need for a human teacher. Lessons and audio materials are recorded with native speakers to ensure authenticity and correct accent formation. And at the end of each week or month, users can take a quiz to review and recap what they've learned. So if you'd like to start learning a foreign language today, sign up to Monly using our link provided below and you'll receive a 96% discount, but it's for a limited time only. Thank you so much to Monly for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for supporting our channel. Now let's get into the video. Good morning guys from beautiful Sidamon, Bali. Uh, we just woke up to a little bit of rain here this morning. We are back at our favorite resort that we have stayed at, um, all in Bali and maybe all throughout our travels. We absolutely love it here. It's called Simon Baya Resort. If you remember from way back when Lloyd and I started YouTube, this is the resort that made me cry. <laughs> it was the first luxury resort I'd ever stayed at in my life and it's just absolutely stunning. We're staying in the Samudra Villa. It's like sort of like a rice villa, but like a little bit more luxury than just a regular rice villa. It's got its own private pool and just the view of the mountains and all the rice patties. I just can't get over it. We're waiting on breakfast, going to get delivered to our room this morning, and then we're going to do something we've never done before. We're doing something that is very common for people to do when they come to Sidamon, but we've never done it. We get to go make our own silver jewelry. Super excited to do that this morning. We've got a lot of things planned while we're here. Sidamon is a lot more quiet and um, laid back compared to like Ubud and Chenggu, so there still is that like quiet, relaxing Bali that we all remember. So it is still possible for you to come here and get that holistic, amazing, relaxing experience in Bali. But yeah, we're gonna take you guys and show you all about Sidamon. In my opinion, I think it is the most beautiful place in Bali. We've just had breakfast delivered. I've got the plant-based plate here and Lloyd got some scrambled eggs. We've also got fresh juice, dragon fruit, watermelon, amazing. This looks so good. And this view, literally no complaints this morning. <laughs> I literally just ordered scrambled eggs and your, what is it? Plant-based plate. Plant-based plate. All this stuff came. <laughs> This 
Lisa's example of what we can make. Sumatra, yeah. Sumatra. Yeah. The silver comes from Sumatra yeah. and this is it, just raw. Yeah. Beautiful. You make it from this to do your own, yeah. From zero to the end, yeah. Okay. And the process uh, everything step by step, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. I think that would look good. Solid inside, yeah. Yeah. 
bikin Bali ya ya bagus ya it's beautiful thank you I love it you see ya Experience, great experience. Yeah, so fun. Finish. That was pretty cool. Um, getting to see how they make all that jewelry from scratch. I think he said they get the silver from Sumatra. It's a bit of a process, but it only took about an hour and a half, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Like melting it down and then stretching it out and getting it in the shape and polishing it. So I got to make a new wedding band, which was pretty awesome because I lost mine when we were in the RV. We were driving down Wyoming and our awning blew off and I had to go up on the roof and try and fix it and it fell off somewhere in the desert, somewhere in Wyoming. So finally I got a new wedding band. Yay, it looks and it's great. it's pretty cool too. It's beautiful. That was awesome. You can pick like hundreds of designs you want to make and they'll pretty much make it exactly how it looks. So. Yeah. I think that was one of my favorite experiences and excursions that we've done in a very long time. So I definitely recommend doing it. It's just a good for a memento as well, like something to remember and now we have these pieces of jewelry. We can remember this forever. It's so great. But um, more rain is coming, so we're probably just gonna head back to the resort now. <laughs> we will leave the link to this place in the description if you're interested in doing it. Highly, highly recommend. People from all over were here doing it. Uh, it's pretty popular and a must do while you're in Cedarman. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, I reach through mysterious ceilings. I'm loving Cedarman after being in Ubud. I can't believe how busy Ubud is now in comparison to how it was when we first were back during COVID or just after COVID. But like Cedarman is so peaceful and like still has that peaceful Bali feeling to it. I think it's my favorite spot in Bali now. I think it's the most beautiful and authentic how Bali used to be or how it used to be advertised. If you're thinking about coming to Cedarman and like wanting to party or like turn it into a party spot, don't like, there's no like bars, there's no day clubs or anything like that. It's really just coming to stay in like a nice peaceful resort or a nice Airbnb and relax. So. If you're coming looking for that, don't stick to Chengu, stick to Ubud. Um, this isn't the place for that. nice and early today because we actually have some sun. It's been a bit uh, wet and overcast since we got here 
and we're gonna to head to the Gambling Waterfall, which is this small little waterfall that you can actually swim in here. It's about a 20 minute drive away. Um, we're gonna jump on our motorbike, which we rode here from Ubud. I need to give a shout out to Soul Bikes in Seminyak, which is where we got this motorbike from. I can't recommend Soul Bikes enough. They actually dropped off the motorbike all the way to Ubud for us for free. They do free drop off and they have hundreds of bikes there literally not like scooters not i'm not talking about like automatic scooters they have like actual motorbikes so if you're somebody who's looking to get a real motorbike and you're a bit sick of riding like the goofy scooters around like i am um, i don't find them as comfortable I, I get a little bit cramped on the scooters and they're not as fast the suspension isn't as good this thing has been awesome like we rode it for an hour and a half to get from ubud to cedarman and it felt a lot quicker and it was much more comfortable for me anyway i don't think mandy was as comfortable on the back the seat's a bit thinner my bum was a bit sore but maybe i just got a bony bum who knows <laughs> but yeah so they have plenty of these bikes available they've got a ton of other bikes as well they've got super bikes like super fast 500 cc 1000 cc bikes if that's what you're into i highly suggest going for a really big motorbike ride around bali because it's so much fun and there's so much nature but as I said, Soul Bikes, we'll leave a link down below. Um, you can check out their website and have a look at all the different bike options available. They're really affordable. This thing was like 1.3 million for a week. And if you rent it for any longer, the price just goes down per day. So it's a really good value. And they also have cool helmets you can rent as well. So you don't look like an absolute goob up while you're riding around Bali, <laughs> which is important if you're a content creator. Uh, last night we went and saw some a little bit of live Balinese music. It was absolutely beautiful, just next door to Samambaya. Really delicious dinner. I actually got quite busy in there, which was quite surprising. There's quite a few little warungs that are on this street, so plenty to choose from. If you want to venture out from the resort, if you decide to stay here, definitely recommend it. Um, but we're kind of in a rush because I don't want to miss the sunshine and I think this waterfall is going to be pretty busy. To go through some crazy like back alleyways and little villages, it felt like we were getting lost, but we found it. It's a very secluded, very secluded waterfall. And my crooked little heart that seems so rebellious is falling apart right now. I'm bleeding. That's not it. That's not it? No. <laughs> Oh, That's awesome. Keep it nice and fresh. Yeah. More stairs. <laughs> There's even music up here. <laughs> it's so beautiful, it's so fresh. 
lovely. Oh. How's this view though? I'm so happy we got up early for this. There's only one other person here at the moment. Yeah. Judging by like how sort of out of the way it was to get here, I don't think it's a very popular spot for tourists. So hopefully we didn't ruin that. It is popular, but usually you have a tour guide taking you, which we would recommend to help support uh, the local tour guides. We just find for us with filming, <laughs> Um, it's a bit challenging to have a guide with us because we have to stop to film things so much but um, there's so many guides here that can take you to so many unique places like this. really recommend it. Yeah, but check out the view from this <laughs> little pool. That was the best way to start the morning. So refreshing, I feel so good. Starving now though, so we're gonna head back to Samambaya and have some brekkie, I think. I think pretty sure breakfast will be waiting for us in the room when we get back. So spoiled. Let's have a toast for those lost old eyes. And my crooked little no rebellions is falling apart right now. I'm bleeding, an easy kill. Don't leave it all behind. I think it's time for me to go burn all bridges. All I know, I got lost along the way. I can already see from here that breakfast is waiting for us, ready to go. How bloody good is that, eh? I'm in heaven. We're being spoiled here. Oh, it looks so good. Yep. Mm. Always when I start talking. Place to escape the busyness. Oh. <laughs>